No, no men. <laughs> Amen and oh men. Listen, um, I, I, my phone, cell phone, I've had forever. And uh, praise God, that thing has lasted and been in order and out of order and, and dropped off buildings and, and lost for several days and reappeared. And, and uh, you know, that thing's lasted a long time. But uh, last month, uh, it started acting up real bad. And, and uh, it decided it would start doing whatever it wanted to do whenever it wanted to do it. And that sort of thing. And I went, I was uh, at Brother Wally's surgery um, last month and, and went... I went to the mall and tried to get another one at that time. And uh, the lady looked up and said, if you'll wait one more month, you'll get another $50 off of a phone. I said, well, I put up with a phone for another month for $50, amen? Yeah. Amen. So, you know, I did this week, you know, I went and, and ordered the phone. Uh, they didn't have it. They just had a display. I ordered it. It was supposed to be back next day. Well, to make a long story short, I had to go there three days in a row to get the phone. It just didn't, didn't come. So, But anyway, each day that I went, you know, there, every time I'd go in there, there'd be this big crowd of people. And uh, I was just going over here to Flaunton, um, over there, uh, over by Pizza Hood. And you'd sit in that room, and they got chairs, you know, and I'd sit there and have to wait for my turn. And uh, every day, I, I'd listen and... And all these people were inquiring about the plans. You know, what's the best plan for you? And, and I thought about this a lot during the week as I, as I sit there. You know, each one would describe. And I think, why do they even have different plans? You know, why don't we just have one big plan and that be it? You know, <coughs> we all, and, and I've been talking to CJ. and uh, CJ didn't make it today. He, he's underwater but anyway. Been talking to him, and, and he's on a different plan than I am. I'm trying to figure out, you know, why he's not on the plan I am, and, and that sort of thing. And the more I got into it, you know, we like things tailor made for us. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We like things that, that fit our needs, and and uh, you know, in the world of marketing, boy, they know that. They know that you got to reach out there and, and, and offer different things and that sort of thing. And, but that's the whole point, is every person in there is looking for that, that plan that's going to fit them. And everybody on the other side of the deal, all these phone companies, is trying to make a plan that's going to get your attention. Amen? Yeah. That's something they can put in there that's going to say, well, whoa, that's a good plan. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? I've been thinking all week about the plan of Christ. It ties in, and, and you can see where I'm going with this. It's pretty simple, but this really got me thinking about the plan of all plans. Yeah. The plan that never changes. The plan that never expires. The plan that never goes up yeah. or down. It's a plan... For everybody. It's a plan that fits everybody. The perfect, absolute perfect plan of salvation. The plan of Jesus Christ. It doesn't get any better than that. It doesn't get any better than this plan. And Brother Travis was just talking. And I told Brother Travis something that's still on my heart. It's, you, you know, this world, while we're here, while you are here, of course it's not for your career. Or for that special somebody. It's not. Whether you, you think that's life or not. It's not for the house. It's not for any of the things we can achieve or obtain. Besides, a relationship with the Lord Jesus. Amen. I'm here. In other words, I asked Travis, I said, Travis, when were you born? I said, that appears here. And then later on, we're going to get another number down here. We don't really like to think about that number, but it's going to come. Mm -hmm. But that dash, in other words, what that represents is God's gift to you of time to get to know and serve. Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Now today you get occupations to heaven along the way. And you get that special somebody. That's a reward. Amen. Amen. You get children as rewards and grandchildren and houses and all these things come along with gifts to you. But that's not why you're here. We're here because of our opportunity, first of all, to surrender to Jesus Christ. To get to know Him and to have an opportunity. An opportunity to serve Him. Amen. Now Paul showed up wherever he went with this same plan. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is what God gave him to offer to the Gentiles. And are you a Jew today? Any Jews in here? Then what are you? Gentile. Gentile. <laughs> what did you say, Kurt? Gentile. You're a Gentile. <laughs> Amen. We're Gentiles. Today, I have the authority to offer you this plan. Yes. Amen. Amen. And you have the authority to accept it today. That's right. This plan is still, that's what I told you about this plan, is it never changes, it never goes away, it never expires, it doesn't, there's nothing that's going to change about this plan. Nobody can take this plan from you. That's right. Right. <coughs> Jesus Christ today offers this plan to us all. It doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are, how tired you are, how awake you are, how ready to eat you are, you can have this plan. That's right. First thing on this plan, Paul is told by the Lord is, guess what? It's, we're going to open their eyes and turn them from darkness to light. And we're going to take them from the power of God. So all this time, you ain't got no idea what's going on. You don't know anything real. You don't know the truth. You're walking in and what you've been taught by the world and what you've been, what your eyes have seen as you've grown up. But all of a sudden, the Spirit of God hits you and convicts you that there's more to life. There's more to living than just what the world can offer us. Right. Just this, this, this one little short time of breath here that we know is so feeble and so, so quickly to be taken away from us. There's so much more. Hallelujah. Amen. There's so much more. There's a way, a, a way that Jesus wants to take us today. <coughs> Turn us from the dark. And give us light. Amen. Amen. Jesus wants you today to be able to open your eyes and finally see there's a truth about where you came from. There's a truth about how this place was made and it ain't got anything to do with no monkey. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. It come, we came from Him. Amen. He is my Creator. Amen. There's a truth we ought to know. Truth that when our eyes grow, we shall finally see. There's more to love than what I've been told. Well, when Jesus Christ, when God shows you the, the love of Jesus Christ that took Him to the cross of Calvary, that went through the crucifixion, the resurrection, and ascension, and the promise to come back, Amen. you will know something about love. Amen. Amen. Truth. And I'm not just a body. I'm not just flesh. I'm not just going to waste away. It's not just blackness after the final breath. There's a whole nother life for eternity. Amen. And the truth is. No matter how big and strong you are, or how rich you are, the truth is, you better see <coughs> just this. There's a heaven and there's a hell. Everybody has got to make this choice. Amen. That's the truth. That's right. So God says, you know what we're going to do? 
first part of the plan is we're going to set you on the right track. See, we've been living in the world. And we've been living to, to all these, the, and, you know, really the world really wants you to think, hey, go get whatever you want. You go have fun. You go do your desires and get it, get it all as quick as you can because you're going to die. So you better enjoy yourself before it's over. That's the world's ideal of life. You go marry as many times just so you're happy. We want you to be happy every day. So if you, you know, if you get tired of her fussing at you, you just divorce that thing and go on. You ain't got to take care of your kids. You know, that's what the world teaches us. Amen. But God says, I'm going to take you and put you on the right path. Yeah, thank you, Lord. When you can find a wife that will fuss at you to keep you on the right track, woo, God, that's a good wife. Amen. Amen. The truth. God sets us on. Right path. God says, I'm going to set them on the right path, and the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give them forgiveness. Praise God. Amen. Man, I can't walk without forgiveness. Man, I, if, there, if you've been setting me on the right track over and over and over and over, but I can't take a step without the forgiveness of God. I mess up all the time, and praise God, there's forgiveness. Amen. 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 Man, where would I be today? I couldn't work. I couldn't take. I couldn't stand behind this pulpit. You understand? Without forgiveness, <coughs> where would you be? I'd be talking a load so heavy. I couldn't <coughs> think, look, do anything. But Jesus Christ is making that intercession. Not only are we forgiven at the time of salvation. But we have a Jesus Christ that is Lord of all, sitting on the right hand of God, making intercession. And what that means is, as you go, as you live, as you walk through life, He's keeping God's wrath on you. Amen. And the only way to do that is through forgiveness. Do you know that you can be forgiven by God for anything? Anything but not believing Amen. We hold our forgiveness. That's a whole other sermon. But the second thing God says in this plan comes with forgiveness. We all ought to just stop and say, Thank you, God, for forgiveness. Amen. Where would I be today if God didn't forgive us? Paul goes on and listens to Jesus. And Jesus said, there's a third thing that I want you to tell him. It comes with my plan. The plan that I went to the cross of Calvary to be able to offer them. And that third thing is eternity. Amen. He says in this verse, <laughs> verse 18, to open their eyes and turn them from darkness to light and the power of Satan. Take them from the power of Satan unto that power of God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and an inheritance. An inheritance. Beyond anything our eyes has ever seen. Beyond any sound our ear has ever heard. Any taste our mouth has ever tasted. Any feeling our flesh has felt. Beyond all of our senses, beyond all of our knowledge, heaven exists. Oh, Amen. And this plan, the acceptance of the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, comes with an extended warranty. Amen. Amen. It comes with an inheritance. We can be held in the arms of Jesus for a word that don't even feel in our physical knowledge is eternity. Mm -hmm. How can time go beyond, 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 beyond? I don't know, but it can. Mm -hmm. Kurt sang a song, he said, All we need to know 
means that his hand was in mine. I don't know how, but I know it does. This plan comes within time. Now, here's the thing I want to tell you this morning. It's a real simple thing. I've been on plans before, and I realize I've been on the wrong plan. I hear about somebody's other plan and say, man, that plan right there sounds a whole lot better than the plan I'm on. You understand? Now, I'm telling you, with all that I am today, that I've just told you the best plan there is. Yes, yeah. Now, I hope you've done enough shopping around. I hope you've done enough research. Great drug uh, place I was, uh, uh, story one time I was listening to, and, and before the guy went on to tell his story, the guy asked him, he said, you're not going to tell that same story, are you? He said, yes, sir. He said, I've done, been out there and done all the research I'm going to do. When I got clean, I'm not going back. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm telling you today, I hope you through researching this work. Because what Satan wants you to do is continue to research. Mm -hmm. Continue to look. Look, look, look. And I know that, that thought process that we have that, that kind of abides us by. It. You know what we can say? Well, at the last minute, I'm going to drop to my knees and get saved. But all this time, I'm going to endure the world and get all I can get. It don't work like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It does not work that way. The only thing about this plan I need you to know today. It's 2 Corinthians 6 2 says it's a time on this plan. Mm -hmm. In other words, 2 Corinthians 6 2 says now, N O W is the time of salvation. Now is when you can have this plan. Tomorrow, I cannot guarantee. Mm -hmm. But today, Jesus Christ is here. And it is all. Every day now, he rises.